Hi, this is Greg Schuler, and in this video we're going to do a basic access control policy to give access to a single project for a group of users. Um, I'm using the Vagrant Anvils demo setup, which is a Vagrant configuration you can easily run. And uh, I've added a new user, so uh, in the realm.properties file I've created a new entry called demo. Uh, the user gives basic access to the application and then um, demo is the name of a new group that we're going to define access for. I've also disabled the default allow read to anyone access that came with the animals demo. And I see that I don't have any authorization to access any projects. So the first thing that we need to do is allow um, the user to access to at least view uh, a particular project. So we're going to create a new file give it a description and then the context that we want to do this in is the application run deck and the person accessing it will be anybody in the demo group now what do we want to give access for project where the name demo and then we'll allow read access. What this does is allows the demo user group to uh, at least view the demo project. Um, so now I have access to demo project. If I click on it though I don't see any jobs, I don't see any nodes and I'm warned that I don't have any authorization to read events. So Basically what this means is that I can view the project in the list, but I have not been granted any access to, to see actually anything in the project. And we talked about before, there's multiple contexts here. We need to add um, ac access at the project level specifically. So I'll do project level access for project demo by the same group, demo. Now what do we want to give access for? Um, at the project context, we need to define what, decide what we want to give the user access to do. Um, there's several specific and generic resource types that we can give access to. So if we just want to give read access to all these things, for the specific resources, we need to define an entry for each of these job, node, and ad hoc. So I'll say job, um, allow read node allow read ad hoc allow read now then for the generic access we need to define a resource entry so it'll apply to all of these so we can say resource allow read this will provide the basic read only access to this project um, which is not all that exciting. If, if you click on this action, you can see all I can do is download the definition for the job. I can at least view the job. I can't run it. I don't have access to run it. Um, in the nodes, I can view the nodes. I don't have any access to execute on these nodes. And then in the activity log, I can view the activity logs. Now, say I want to grant access to any jobs within the demo group I want to give run access to the user. Okay, well, we have a generic read access allowed for all jobs. So let's add another entry saying uh, equals group demo and then allow run access within that group. Um, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for Runnet to pick up changes to the ACL policy file. We, we should be able to see that shortly. Okay, there we go. So we have the run button now. We can run this job. Um, and we should be able to follow it as it runs. Well, it did fail. Why is that? No match nodes. Why is that? We didn't give any run access to nodes. So let's look at the nodes we have. We have read access to, to nodes demo and localhost. Let's say I only want to allow 
run access to this demo one node tag demo. So we can say um, contains tags demo allow run. This should grant us run access to any nodes that have the tag of demo. Uh, like I said, it will take a few few seconds to refresh. So let's try running this job again. And I see it's running on demo one. So that gives us run access to one set of jobs and run access to one node. Now, ad hoc gives um, the user ability to execute any command they want on, on nodes. Let's just grant that for the uh, user. Why not? Um, eventually there will be a new tab here, uh, this commands tab. Now, we know that we don't have run access on this node, so if I try to run, it will only run on the actual running run access node. So that gave us access to ad hoc executions. Generic resource kinds, job, node, and event. Basically, this will grant access to create jobs. Um, if we need to. So let's try. Oops. Kind job. Allow create. This is going to give us this create job menu and we can enter the create job form or upload a job um, however if I do try to save a job it's going to fail because I don't have specific access to create a job so let's let's allow create and update access in the allow field for the um, demo group so I should be able to create a new job under demo and call it test. Test. However, if I don't change this to dispatch to, to my matching um, node, it will fail. So I'm going to change that. So now it created the job. Uh, and also have edit access now. So that's a basic overview of how to grant access to a single project for a, a single group and to selectively enable particular um, actions for, the, for that user.